Good morning, YouTubers. Um, I just wanted to make this quick video. Um, there has been much confusion over something that is real, and the amount of misleading information being passed within this growing community is overwhelming. It is not fair to the women seeking real evidence-based truth in finding answers to very real symptoms. Most sources of cryptic pregnancy have made up an entirely new kind of pregnancy upon which nothing is based on any kind of scientific study, medical documentation, nor have they provided any proof of such a unique pregnancy. Only hearsay. Most sources of information about cryptic pregnancy come from a very one-sided, subjective point of view above which none of the women's claims can be verified. A very well-known figure in the cryptic pregnancy community is Neil Brown, who is a fictional character on the internet, who admits to not using her true name in the written blog she writes, and presents her story as reality. Going through the emotions of such a terrible experience from such horrible doctors, and she disappears after baby is supposedly born, never to update or be heard from again. No lawsuit for the malpractice of these supposed demon doctors. There are a handful of cryptic pregnancy pioneers moderating these sites and groups whom claim to be pregnant for three to four to five years or more and have yet to deliver. Some of which I have interviewed directly as someone who has experienced what I thought was a cryptic pregnancy for five consecutive months. This subject is important to me and I think it is only fair to provide the truth for women seeking it. The psychological manipulation by this community is real. They use fear-inducing language, and if you disagree, then you are told you don't understand and you don't believe. This is brainwashing. I am not sure if the moderators of these groups and websites are aware of what they are doing, but it is quite scary to think that a woman can have symptoms of a serious illness, come across these support sites, and then be led to believe she is in fact cryptically pregnant with twins and her illness goes undiagnosed and untreated, only to get worse. These moderators give out medical advice and they coerce the women seeking advice toward pregnancy and more specifically toward the magic world of cryptic pregnancy. They probe for background and then start, to man start the manipulation of being the all-knowing one. They insult your intelligence by making up their own facts about how pregnancy works and present these made up facts to the vulnerable women in such a way as to convince her this is happening to her as well and she will be alone and have to deliver at home without any help from the medical community. The manipulator moderator gives a series of options making the victim feel like she is in charge of what she believes but ultimately these choices all lead back to the same conclusion, cryptic pregnancy. Every woman I have interviewed lists the same exact situation in one way or the other, making them unknowingly cooking cutter virgins of the manipulator moderator. It is important for the truth to be available to all women alike and to the women truly wanting to find peace within and ultimate health. In this video, I'm going to cover uh, the retroverted uterus. Um, what a lot of women say they have a, a retroverted uterus. Um, it says, and how if baby is inside the uterus, how that is not possible for the baby to grow behind your intestines. Here is a quick, let me make sure you can see it. This is a, a definition of what a retroverted uterus is, and that's on womenshealth.co.uk. A retroverted uterus is the name given to a uterus that is tilted backwards inside of the pelvis. Normally, women are born with a uterus that is located in a straight up and down position inside of the pelvis, or with the uterus that tips slightly forwards towards the stomach. However, some women have a uterus that tilts backwards, port pointing towards the spine. And this is what they give as a picture. This is a normal uterus here. And this is where the tipped or tilted uterus is. And then I wanted to show you... This is what a normal pregnancy looks like. 
And this is what, you know, a, a normal picture of a pregnancy would look like. It shows a pretty large baby here. The baby's probably about eight to nine months along. And this is the placenta, the uterine wall. You can see the uterine wall would be right along flush with the stomach muscles. The uterine wall would be right along the stomach muscles here. And then this is another picture without the baby. This is the picture without the baby. You can see these are the intestines. And the intestines will wrap up and around behind the uterus and here on the sides of the uterus, but never in front of the uterus. Um, the intestines went in front of the uterus, it would cause major complications for the mother. Um, and that would not be good for the pregnancy um, because if the mother is not feeling well and cannot pass feces, then the pregnancy cannot progress. Um, this is a more detailed uh, picture of a tipped uterus. This would be the normal uterus here uh, where my mouse arrow is. And this is what a tipped or tilted uterus looks like. It, it tips toward the the large um, intestine and towards the spine here. Um, okay, took care of that situation. Okay, this is the next um, illustration here. Um, you can see the illustrator um, drew the baby here inside of the uterus and the illustrator made sure to put all of the intestines around or behind the uterus itself as like I stated before if the intestines were to wrap in front of the, the growing uterus they would um, the mother would experience major complications not being able to pass feces this is what a body looks like when you're not pregnant. This is your uterus here, small tucked down. Um, this is a normal shaped uterus. If you had a, a retroverted uterus, it would go back towards your spine. And here you can see the illustrator drew the intestines um, here on top, behind, and possibly here around on the sides, but never in front of the growing uterus. Here is another picture. Um, the intestines are tucked here behind on the sides around, but never in front. Another picture here, intestines are tucked up around and on the sides here. On this illustration, you can see it goes a little bit further here, but never down around the actual uterus. As I stated before, if the intestines were to wrap completely around the uterus, it would cause major complications for the mother in order to pass feces. Now this is an illustration on what a, a retroverted uterus uh, with a pregnancy looks like. You can see the baby is growing towards the spine and towards the large colon here. Um, the stomach is, you know, pretty flat. I mean, but the bladder is here. But the intestines would come up around here and they would pile on top here. They would never go around here. It would cause major complications to the mother. Here are two more illustrations on what a retroverted uterus with a pregnancy looks like, um, depending on the position of the baby. It depends on the size of the baby bump. Um, but the baby can change positions, especially as it starts to grow larger. Um, and you can see that the baby is able to stretch out, so it's actually able to push things out of its way, such as intestines. They can push it out of the way. Um, here is another example of a retroverted uterus with an early pregnancy. You can see this baby is quite early in the pregnancy. The baby is growing towards the spine here, and it shows how the, the pregnancy should progress. You can see how the uterus should grow. Um, and it's while it is growing, it is pushing the intestines out of the way. While the uterus is growing, it is pushing the intestines out of its way. And now this is what a, you know, what a, a normal pregnancy would look like as far as growth. Um, depending on how many months is where you would find your fundus. 
Um, so that tells you about how far along you are. In my standard pregnancies, about here, about in my third month, going into my second trimester, I was very easily able to find my fundus, palpate my fundus, and I could feel my uterus. It was very um, distinct. So now I have some literature here um, explaining a little bit more about... Um, a tilted uterus or a retroverted uterus. I typed in um, how having a tilted uterus can affect your pregnancy and I got whattoexpect.com. It says a harder time locating your baby. There's a small chance your doctor may have trouble Whoa. finding your baby with a trans and abdominal no, ultrasound. Sorry, okay. So um, there's a small chance your doctor may have trouble finding your baby with a transabdominal ultrasound, the type where the wand is moved over your abdomen. This simply means your little one is a bit farther away from those trying to get a peek at him. But it is not a problem. Instead, your doctor may use a transvaginal ultrasound, inserting an ultrasound wand through the upper part of your vagina to get a better look. The good news... Any negative impact of a tilted uterus will go away by the second trimester of pregnancy without you doing a thing. As your baby grows in the first trimester, your uterus expands in the pelvic cavity, but by 12 to 13 weeks, your uterus pops up out of your pelvis and into your abdomen to accommodate your growing baby. At this point, a retroverted uterus nearly always writes itself upwards. I will repeat this. To accommodate your growing baby, at this point, a retroverted uterus always nearly writes itself upwards. Are there any risk factors during pregnancy? Um, just a risk factor of a UTI, but that's when you're pregnant or not pregnant. And then I also have... Um, I did a little bit a, of a search on retroverted uterus during pregnancy, and I got um, quite a few blogs, Baby Center, Montastic, The Bump, um, Belly Belly. They all t talk about how these women are pregnant with a tilted or retroverted uterus and how none of them have experienced any complications of the intestines going in front of the uterus. I repeat, none of these women have experienced any complications of their baby growing behind their intestines. Because as the baby is growing, the uterus pushes the intestines out of the way. I hope this makes sense, um, and I hope this clarified some things for some women. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Have a great day, and thank you for watching. Bye.